Hi guys, we've just caught a kill in action. Maybe not something you're expecting. I, it took me a little while to work out what it is that's been caught, but it is actually a chameleon caught by the southern yellow-billed hornbill. And it just goes to show if they can get their beak around it, they will eat it. So I think what he's trying to do is trying to manipulate it to be able to swallow it or try to break a piece off. I'm not quite sure what he's trying to do. I don't think he really knows what he's trying to do. <laughs> now the reason why I can see it's comedian, the body is quite flat. Uh, sort of from the, the back down to the belly, if you like. So if you imagine sort of squashing someone from the sides. Oh, tasty morsel. There's something to be fought over, and unfortunately, the other one tried and failed. I'm going to try and fight. I can still see him in the tree. I'm just going to try and roll forward. So he's still battling. He might bring it back down to the ground a bit. Straight through there, up on the branch. Yeah. Just roll down a little bit more. Or has he dropped it? Can't see it now. He did have it when he was in there. Possibly the other one's just <laughs> come in and stolen it. Hi, Kestrel Fox, asking, can it swallow it? I'll tell you something. Until I saw the hornbill swallowing a bat, I would have said no. But the bat was bigger than that chameleon. So that's why I'm kind of thinking it was actually trying to manipulate it into a slightly easier, uh, manageable direction to swallow it. And I think possibly because of the other hornbill there, he didn't want to lose it to the other hornbill. And that could be why he was trying to do it <laughs> quite subtly. Because what they'll then do is throw the head back, kind of throw the food slightly up and throw the head back to then catch it and then uh, work its way down like that. But it really is quite a difficult animal to eat. And as I say, the bat also. I still was just absolutely amazed that it could eat something that size. As I say, they really will try anything. But I think he must have dropped it and the other one has taken it off and I can't see where it's gone now, unfortunately. Shame for the chameleon, but unfortunately that is life in the bush. If you're small, anything can eat you. So it is a case of being big, or if you're small, being in numbers, or trying to hide. And obviously that's why the chameleon has that wonderful camouflage. So they must have been pretty eagle-eyed to spot that chameleon. I wonder how they might have taken it from a tree or if the chameleon is actually walking on the ground trying to be a leaf. They kind of do that rocking backwards and forwards motion. All it would have taken is them to realize, actually, that's not a leaf, that's something to eat. And that's possibly how they picked it up. I think that was more likely than being in the tree, to be honest, because they tend to uh, forage around on the ground quite a lot. But yes, off they go. <laughs> So back 